What's up YouTube, Adam here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use a single image across all of your displays as a single wallpaper. Now, a lot of people ask me this question, in fact I probably get asked this question more than any other question right now, apart from what is my job, but this particular question I must get asked several times a day, literally, and that is, how do I get this situation where I've got all of these screens and I've got one image shared across all of them with separate images coming together to just make that one image? And I'll put a picture up on the screen now just to give you an idea of exactly what I'm kind of talking about. Now in my situation, I've got six screens. So the first thing that you actually need to do is obviously go away and get your image. Now because I've got six screens, six high resolution screens, images are very, very difficult to come by because the image needs to be the size of all of your screens added up together or it's gonna be poor quality. Now so people say, where do you get your images from? The answer to that is, Google, there is no specific website to get images of the size that I need. So the first thing you need to do is work out the total uh, pixels of all of your screens. So mine is 2560 by 1440 times six. So it's gonna be 2560 uh, across the bottom times three. So 2560 times three is uh, 7680 I think. So that's going to be the resolution across the bottom and then it's going to be 1440 times 2 which is 2880 going upwards. So what I need to do is find an image that is bigger than that resolution and as you can see here the only one in the Google search that you can do that, that is bigger is 70 megapixels and once you actually select that 70 megapixel there from the filter options in Google search it actually restricts you quite a lot because there really aren't that many images that are 70 megapixels because obviously there aren't that many cameras that take 70 megapixel images. So now we've got our images, you've just got to choose one. I actually chose this one earlier, I think it looks quite nice. And you can see the resolution of that here is absolutely huge. So when that's split across six screens, six high resolution screens, we're still going to get good quality. Now, once we've actually got that there, what we need to do is open that up with, in my case, I'm going to use Photoshop. You can probably do this with other photo editing tools, but I'm going to use Photoshop. And that will open up our image. Now, once we've got the image open, the first thing we need to do is set the image size to be the size that we want it to be. Now, I've already told you what size that is. So, the actual pixel size that it's going to be across the horizontal is 2560 times 3. So we can just check our resolution size again. So here we go, 2560 by 1440. And then we go back to our image and we need to put the overall size into the pixel size within the image size uh, within Photoshop. So first of all, it's going to be 7680 on the width and then it's going to be 2880 on the height. Once we've got that in, we can then just say OK, and that's going to then set the image to be the collective size that we need it to be. Now, next up, what we need to do is actually go in and select a canvas size, and this is going to enable us to break it down into these separate sections. So in my case here, what it's going to be is uh, 2560 by 1440, and then we're going to use the arrows to actually select the exact um, area of the screen that we're going to be using. So in my case, this is going to be the top left, so I'm going to be using six of these arrows, but you might only have two or three or four, however many it is. So you just need to make sure that you're actually selecting the correct amount of um, arrows for your particular image. Now I'm just going to create a folder to save these into and then I'm going to call this one number one because this is the top left image. So top left image number one, here we go. And now what I need to do is actually go back and step backwards so we're back to our full image again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go canvas size and again we're going to set it to a pixel size which matches one of our screens, 2560 by 1440 and then select the appropriate image. So this is now the top middle of my six screens because so I selected that particular arrow, save that as number two. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to continue this over and over and over again until we get to our full six images. Now obviously in my case it adds up to six, but like I say you may only have two or three or four. Um, however many you've got you just need to use the appropriate arrow for the position of the monitor and then save out 
that relevant number of images. And each time you just step backwards, go in and just repeat the process over and over and over again. Now, I'm gonna actually continue to do this and show it on the screen just so I can show you every single step. But if you kind of have got the idea by now and you wanna sort of skip forward, you probably wanna go forward maybe a minute or so uh, towards the end of the video. So here we go, we are now on number four. So we've got our top three and our bottom left image done. Roll backwards again, go back in, set the canvas size, pixels 2560 by 1440. This is gonna be the bottom middle, as you can see. And we're gonna go in, save this out as number five. So we've now got five of our six images. Roll backwards just one more time to get our sixth image. And this one's gonna be the bottom left. So I'm gonna click the bottom left arrow once I've selected the actual pixel size, and there we go. So this is the bottom left image, uh, sorry, the bottom right image, I meant to say there, that we've got now, so this is number six. Now, once you've got all of your images, you can uh, close Photoshop and go back out to where your actual images are saved, and then just go into your desktop background settings. Now, I believe this is, this is gonna be fairly similar uh, on a PC, but I'm using a Mac here. And then what we can do is select the correct image. Now, I'm on the bottom middle screen at this moment, so that is gonna be image number five. But if you were on the bottom right, it would be this one, image number six, or bottom left, it would be image number four, top left, you know, you get guys get the idea. Anyway, guys, um, that is pretty much it. I'll just chuck a couple of pictures up now to show you how that actually looks with an end result. And you can do this for any number of screens uh, with any number of monitors. And in fact, I owe this um, to someone who told me how to do this on Twitter. So I'll leave a link to his Twitter name uh, down in the description below. Now, I know this is a little bit of a different video uh, that I bring to you guys, but literally so many people ask me for this. So I hope it was useful for you guys. If you like the video, please do hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you all in the next one. See ya.